Excuse me, you can't come in unless you are fully life jacketed. Oh, it's you again. Mm-hmm. Well, as you can see, I'm fully life jacketed, just like you told me to last time. Nope. We changed the definition of what it means to be fully life jacketed. Now you have to have another life jacket on to be considered fully life jacketed. What? Yeah, we're requiring everyone to get a booster life jacket. What's wrong with this one? It's completely inadequate. Well, a lot of people are already wearing a life jacket because you insisted on it, and now you're demanding that we wear another life jacket? That's crazy. Besides, I don't see any water around here. Well, there's a new form of water going around now. Water vapor. Oh, that's just the nature of water. It's how it behaves. There's nothing to freak out about here. But people are getting wet from it. But they're not drowning from it. That's irrelevant to us. Put another life jacket on or else you can't come in because you're unlife jacketed. No, I already have a life jacket. I'm good. Sir, you're putting yourself in grave danger of drowning. That life jacket you have on will not work unless you also put on another life jacket. And you're putting everyone else at risk of drowning too. His four life jackets he has on will not work unless the current life jacket you're wearing is accompanied by another life jacket. This is sounding less and less scientific. I represent the science of flotation. Well, if this one's so useless, Why'd I have to get it in the first place? Because it works very effectively at protecting you from drowning. Let me get this straight, what you want me to believe. You want me to think that life jackets work so well that it's essential that I wear one at all times to be protected from water. That's correct. And you also want me to think that they work so poorly that I need to get another one every six months? That's correct. I'm glad you get it. Sounds like you're making life jackets that just don't work very well. I wouldn't say too much about that or else we'll have your freedom of speech taken away. Is there actual research showing your life jackets are effective and safe? Oh yeah. Do you have data that proves that? Of course, we have nothing to hide. Can I see it? Absolutely. We'll be happy to let you see it in 75 years. 75 years? Why so long? Oh, it just takes a long time to compile all the data that we already have compiled. Oh, and to make copies of it? Have you ever used a photocopier? Those things break all the time. Just the whole process takes like three quarters of a century. Don't you have the files stored digitally? Put on another life jacket now, or... Or what? Or I'll tell everyone you're an anti-life jacketer. No, I like life jackets. I think they have their time and place. I think they should be a personal choice. I'm just against life jacket mandates. So you are an anti-life jacketer. No, I just... Actually, we got the dictionary to change the definition of the word anti-life jacketer to include anyone who's against our mandates. Whoa, you're changing language? Yeah, the power of big life jacket. Pretty impressive, isn't it? That's terrifying. Do you know what else is terrifying? Water! I'm not scared of water. It's just statistically, it's such a low risk. In the new form of water, even wetter than before. I'm not scared of that either. Put on another life jacket now! I'm honestly not scared of water anymore. It's just something that mankind has lived with and will continue to live with, so I don't think it's something we need to stop living our lives in order to save our lives from. So, no thank you. I'm good. You deserve to die. What? Science. What's wrong with you? Well, I guess you just want us to make your life more of a living hell by taking away more of your freedoms to protect you into being coerced into putting on another one of our life jackets. Not only will you not be allowed in public places if you're seen walking around like a moron not wearing multiple life jackets, but we'll restrict you from buying food, owning property, and seeing your family. You'd keep me from seeing my family? Mm-hmm. That's right. But Dr. Floaty says if you put on another life jacket to go with your first life jacket, then you can see them. But he says you'll still need to wear an inner tube when you're around them. What the hell? If I still have to wear an inner tube when I'm around them, why on earth would I put on another life jacket? Aren't these things supposed to work? I really have no idea what you're trying to ask. You're a psychopath. It's like you're coercing me into putting on another life jacket 
by offering me protection against the abusive restrictions that you're putting on me. It's like, that's the only thing that these protect me against. Well, you'll need two on to be protected from them. And doesn't that sound like very valuable protection? No! Look, unless you want to be restricted from going into public places, buying food, owning property, and seeing your family for the rest of your life, then put on another life jacket. No! Yes! No! Do it! No! Do it or you'll be sorry! Okay, fine! Put this damn thing on, just so my life can get back to normal. Now can I go back to living my normal life? Absolutely! Enjoy! Thank you. You should be good for another five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah, surprisingly, the CEO of Big Life Jacket just announced that a third life jacket will be necessary in five minutes. But uh, this time, it'll really protect you. No more.